or as I prefer to call him, Mr. Ava Braun. <laughs> hashtag feminism, hashtag Hitler. <laughs> Hitler died 70 years ago last month, which is apparently long enough for some countries to get away with TV shows like this. A new Czech Republic TV show has pushed the reality TV genre even closer to the edge of good taste, with a new Nazi-themed show called Holiday in the Protectorate. The premise is simple. Three generations of one family are placed in the situation of a mock Nazi-occupied Europe. If they make it through two months, they get 50 grand. That, that begs so many questions, not the least of which is, what happens if they don't win? <laughs> What does losing entail on that show? Because in 1939, the stakes were pretty fucking high. <laughs> now, you might think that that is the most casual use of Nazi history you can possibly imagine, but there's actually been something that we've been wanting to show to you for a while. A couple of months ago, we were researching a story and stumbled across a propaganda video produced by the Thai government designed to teach the core values of Thai society. Just keep an eye out for what one child is painting. That is a child applauding their friend's Hitler painting, <laughs> which is obviously offensive. You don't applaud art when you like it. You nod thoughtfully and drink your weight in complimentary gallery, Chardonnay. <laughs> now, now, we naturally assumed that this was just a one-off aberration, but it turns out Thailand has something of a bizarre fixation with Hitler imagery. Thailand's biggest university apologising today for a controversial mural. Take a look at the artwork. It's depicting Adolf Hitler and a group of superheroes. The Christian school in Thailand now apologizing for allowing students to march in a Nazi-themed parade. The Hitler chicken uh -oh. restaurant is using the image of the Nazi leader on an emblem similar to KFC. KFC calls it extremely distasteful. <laughs> That's right, KFC, the makers of the chicken scraps and potato melange you drink from a cup called something extremely distasteful and were not being hypocritical. <laughs> now, to be fair, in Thai schools, world history is not given much attention with little or no mention of the Holocaust. Although, to be even fairer, come on! <laughs> How is it appropriate to use Hitler on a billboard to advertise a wax museum or to advertise a herbal laxative tea with Hitler proclaiming, release the demon? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, Thailand. If you had Hitler screaming at you to take a shit, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't need a fucking laxative. <laughs> and we haven't even got into the clothing available in Thailand yet. You can buy T-shirts featuring Panda Hitlers and Teletubby Hitlers. <laughs> who is that last one for? There are two types of people who would wear Hitler Teletubby clothing. The type that want a Teletubby shirt so badly they'll take one with Hitler on it, and the type who want a Hitler shirt so badly they'll take one with a Teletubby on it, and I'm not sure who the worst person is there. <laughs> but the greatest example of just how comfortable Thailand is with Hitler imagery is the fact that a Thai band called Slur once produced this video. That is misjudged just from a marketing standpoint. How are teenage girls supposed to pick a favourite boy band member if all of them are the bad boy? <laughs> look, look, Thailand, you need to understand the only acceptable depictions of Hitler are either in a history textbook or accidentally on a dog's face. That's the only time. <laughs> Who's a bad boy? You are. You're a very bad boy. But to embrace the actual Hitler is a real problem. He was terrible. Google Hitler right now, Thailand, and see what comes up. Seriously, do it now. We will all wait. <laughs> yes, exactly, Thailand. He was really bad. Look, this has to stop. Because if you need a charismatic personality with a funny moustache to worship, there are other options. In fact, there's a perfect option. And I'm talking about beloved comedian and TV personality, Rip Taylor. <laughs> He's got everything you're looking for, Thailand. Funny moustache? Check. Colourful outfits? Big check. What about a flair for pageantry? Rip Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Looks more like a riptide to me. Sure, 
It's no Nuremberg rally, but come on, it's pretty close. <laughs> and the beauty is, Rib Taylor is more than willing to be the new face of whatever you want in Thailand. Uh, don't take my word for it. Tell them, Rip. Thailand, I would love to be your substitute Hitler. I would love to be your substitute Hitler. Put Rip Taylor on whatever you want. Murals and, and walls and T-shirts and chicken restaurants and dress up your boy bands as me. Seriously. <laughs> oh, come on, do it. Don't just sit there. Do it. See? He'll do it. And guess what? Rip Taylor... Rip Taylor has never killed six million Jews. Tell them, Rip. Rip's never killed a single Jew. Not a single one. Seriously. No Jews. Never. Never. It's not, it's not my nature. Exactly. And to be honest, that's a relief, because I did not check that before asking him. But the point is, it's true, so come on, Thailand, because if anything, your laxative teas are about to get even better commercials. <laughs> That's our show. Our huge thanks to Rip Taylor. Please join us next week. Good night. You want to know the difference between this show and my toupee? <laughs> my toupee is more likely to stay on. <laughs> Good night, America. Hope you learned about politics. I did.